Hi, this is Felipe from User Getting. Do you want to learn how to create a checklist? In this video, I will show you how to accomplish that. We can easily create a checklist by going to the Checklist tab on the left-hand menu under Content section. I'm excited to walk you through it. Once here, I will click on the Plus Create a Checklist button. This will take me to the new checklist creation page. Here, I'll give my checklist a name. Then, I will add a title and a subtitle the end users will be able to see. Next, I will choose if I want the progression function turned on. This function allows the user to see the progress bar and gives me the option to checkmark the checklist items as they are completed. The search function can be on or off depending on your preferences. If it's on, there will be an option to edit the writing on the search bar placeholder and no matching results message. Now I will select the items I want to include in the checklist. I have the option to add guides and URLs as items. Let's add a guide. On the drop down menu, I will select the guide I want to add. I can change the name that will be displayed in the checklist. Since this is a checklist, there must be a condition for items to be considered completed and checked. By default, if a user completes a guide, it means the guide reached its goal and can win the tick. But I have the option to set custom goals for items as well. To do that, I will select Goal is reached from the drop down menu. In the opening window, I will set a specific goal condition. We can use browser or user attributes to set a goal condition for our guide. In this example, we'll continue with the default setting. Next, I will customize the checklist. Here, I can change the colors, the location, size, and the image of the launcher. Pick a different font and select a completion animation to be displayed when the user finishes the checklist. Lastly, I will go to the Configure tab and define a targeting page for the checklist. I'm setting it to the Udemy landing page as an example. Then I will choose the user segment who can see the checklist. This one is visible for all users, so I'm selecting all users here. For appearance settings, I can make the checklist open by default to greet the users with it. I also can add a dismiss option so the users can opt out of completing the checklist. Okay, I am done with my checklist. So I will activate it here, save it, and publish it on my own platform. Now let's see how it looks on our page. Okay, here's our checklist. Let's trigger the first guide, complete it, to check how the progress bar will fill. Great. Notice how the checklist progress bar is filled up when I complete a step. And that is all. I hope this was helpful.